We're mid armadillo rut where an armadillo came in and chased off a squirrel <laughs> on my property. <laughs> it was insane. So my family and I went out to hunt whitetail in West Texas again this year. Unfortunately, my camera mic was bugging and I'm going to have to do a voiceover for some of these parts, but don't worry. It's going to be accurate with everything that was said during the time. I mean, it's absolutely wild how everything can't just work perfectly all the time, every time. But anyway, I love hunting whitetail. I genuinely wish I could hunt more, especially bigger games. So if y'all got any hookups, you know, pass them along. This particular trip was unfortunate because from the moment we arrived on the scene, I knew the vibes were off. I recognized where we were staying and turns out we had been here like 10 years ago. That hunting trip, we got nothing. So this was to make up for that poor year. Anyway, I have to dub over these parts because no audio. So here we go. Yo, bro, uh, why did the lease manager not sound very optimistic about our trip? Oh, uh, I think it's because there's no deer here. Also, this is heavy and you're way stronger than me. True that, bro. True that. Hello, avid hunter. First, a big thank you for being a part of our elaborate scam to make you sit in a blind and see absolutely nothing. The rough translation. So to compensate for the lack of deer footage you're about to see, I took it upon myself to ensure you still had something pretty to look at. When we hunt, it's very important to camouflage up completely. Also, when the sun ceases to exist this time of year, it can go down into the teens, meaning warmth is paramount for an enjoyable time. I'm basically explaining here that I'm too jacked for all these clothes and more than likely they will be coming off by the end of the trip. Why is it that you're such a better shot than me? Are there any tips that you have to teach me how to be an elite marksman like yourself? Well, Mitch, it's not easy, but I'm sure I can put you under my tutelage and make a man out of you. Hey, it's time to hunt. Okay, bye. Good bye. luck, boys. Thank you. So, um, just text pictures if you can okay will do yeah um, we'll see <laughs> that has been a problem in historic past is that i always oh yeah sure. try and send a picture of what i'm looking at to, to to mitch and dad to validate my shot and then perception is is not there and so i end up passing on a deer and then i get back in the truck and everyone says i'm an idiot for passing on the deer that i don't shoot so i'm hoping that there will be reception because you know as much as as much as I'd like to think I know what a, a good deer looks like, apparently has not been the case a couple times. 95.9 to squirt. <laughs> All the little nuggets have been dropped off, and then there was one last alive, gonna be dropped off, last location. Saving the best for last, obviously. I mean, you know, understandable. Uh, the best shot out here, you know? And so, um,. I'm very excited. So believe it or not, I'm actually in the same blind that I was in 10 years ago, and I actually shot my first buck here. Um, I thought it was a doe. I didn't see that it was a little spike, so that was a bit humiliating, especially when we went to gut it and everything, and, and the guide came back with like these two little prong sticks and was like, here you go, here's your buck. So it was a bit humiliating at the time, definitely seeking some retribution. Well, this couldn't have gone any worse, uh, basically. I've been sitting here for two hours. Um, I left my phone in the truck. I haven't seen anything. Not a soul, not a peep, not good, not good. But the feeder hopefully is supposed to go off in the next 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe that'll do something. Okay, so first time, not exactly what we were hoping for. I stared at dirt for two and a half hours, maybe three. Um, vibes got very low. How many deer you see, Mitch? Uh, 12. He saw 12 and he didn't shoot at any of them. Well, they were not shooters. They were all shooters. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what we got? How many deer? Uh, we saw 21. You I saw guess. 21 deer? I had, well, I had nine. Oh. Simple math, though, bro. Basically, everyone saw things but me, and everyone had their phones but me. Long Johns. My man, where were those? In my bag. I'm going to be warm tomorrow. All right. Hey, show them the fan that took your index. I almost took my hands up. Look at the ceiling. Dude, it's like styrofoam. I'm almost lost. Oh, really? Yeah. Looks Egyptian. This is my Kevin McAllister outfit. Frankly, anytime I put on a beanie, I feel like I lose 15 years off my life. As you can see, we are bundled up because it was 11 degrees this morning. Absolutely lovely stuff. Look at the frost on these cases. I hope he puts me somewhere with some promise. Maybe with a field. A nice wheat field would do just fine. We decided to let you shoot off the balcony today. Does <laughs> 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 a 360 around the... Or here. I'm gonna get my coffee. Mmm. Black. Finer things in life are in the cream. Goodness. Just holding that half and half made my hands cold. It's gonna be cold out there. Go through our warning, morning stretches. Go ahead. Do we know what, how cold it is? Teens? Tweens? Thirteen. It's in the natives. <laughs> it's nine degrees. 
nine degrees. The weatherman just said, don't go outside, but we're going outside. There's no deer on this property. <laughs> Um, there are squirrels and armadillos. If we have a bad enough hunt this morning, we will jump ship to a different property. Or we will start poaching. We heard the neighbors deer are mwah, beautiful, so might just have to go take a peek. We only take 200 yard plus shots out here, right? I could take a 240 out there where I'm at. Is it off to the right? It goes all the way back to some trees. You can take a 240? I, I could too. Um, oh my god, some marksman. That's, okay, I mean, I, I was kidding. I was kidding. Y'all just took that challenge and we're like, yeah, absolutely. Plus we're supposedly in our second rut. I didn't see no rut. If I had to guess, it hadn't started yet, because they were getting a little chippy with each other, but not, they didn't fight, they didn't drive each other off. It was clearly one of them was the attack. And then they didn't chase the doe. We're mid armadillo rut where an armadillo came in and chased off a squirrel <laughs> on my property. <laughs> it was insane. This is like what I'm in. I'm in like this, frankly, uh, incubation chamber. Um, it's not. This is terrifying. I, I can't see out the windows unless I open them. Um, so that's thrilling. Can't see when it's light out until I just let the sun in apparently. Also the bl the windows are at crotch level. So I'm I'm going to have to take a shot from my knees. This officially sucks. Um it's like 17 degrees. I haven't seen crap. Uh, I'm 85 yards from the stand. So it's a close shot. And I'm cold, my feet hurt. <laughs> and I've seen nothing. And the sun is the sun is up at 7 all right, I'm losing a lot of faith and my butt is getting sore from sitting on a chair that quite possibly saw action in World War I. Um, Keister is hurting and uh, my TV show Suits is no longer hitting. Uh, I can't feel my toes and uh, my fingers are getting very cold. Um, I don't think we're gonna see anything on this hunt. Now look, I know hunting is hunting, not shooting, but when you've had so much success in the past few years, sometimes you forget what it's like to not see a single living creature out in the wild. Well, morale is plummeted to new lows. We're packing up in full preparation that we will see absolutely nothing tonight, and we'll just end up driving home after this evening's hunt. I think the only thing that will save us will be if someone shoots something, uh, meaning that it is actually uh, shootable in terms of uh, it's desirable. Um, I don't think anyone's just gonna shoot anything just to shoot anything. We had a fire going. So what's left of it. We were here like 10 years ago, man. Same situation. In 10 years, this place has not given us anything. I mean, I haven't even seen a deer yet. That has been ridiculous. Mitch and, and my dad have actually seen like 20 something deer. You know, nothing shooter, shooters worthy, but I haven't even seen crap. All right, so I just got settled into the blind for our probably last hunt and stuff's already moving outside uh we've already got some some great activity um so i think today's gonna be very 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 hopeful look at that look at the size on that look it's even got offspring <laughs> it's got aunts and uncles and grandparents and good gosh the whole thanksgiving party is here <laughs> come on man are you freaking kidding me? Hey, get up, leave. Well, basically there's nothing here and we're going home. So thank you very much for watching. I don't know if this will be a vlog, but <laughs> not much happened. <laughs> Woo!